This news update is brought to you by. So, I'm meeting Rico later. Gotta check in with the girls, but first, let me check my usage on the MyLime app. Now, what should I wear? <laughs> Hashtag sexy. He's here. Welcome to the Barbados Today Evening Update for Monday, March 30th. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Thanks for joining us. Our top story. Police are investigating an apparent murder which occurred in Christchurch this afternoon. According to lawmen, 41-year-old Erskine Gunning of Paddock Road, St. Michael, died at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital after receiving stab wounds during an altercation in Paradise Village. The incident occurred around 10 minutes to 1. In other news, a major restructuring drive is in the works for Barbados' juvenile justice system. That's according to Attorney General Adriel Brafwit, who is concerned about the high number of young people under the age of 18 who are incarcerated at the juvenile prison at Dodds. Brafwit, who is also determined on separating the criminal offenders from those who are not, told the National Conference on Juvenile Justice at the, Erskine, at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center this morning that a draft bill should be on his desk in a couple of weeks. I'm a bit concerned about the number of, of young people um, below 18 which have been transferred, which has been related to me in terms of the number of young people that we have. Um, below 18 who are presently incarcerated at DOS. And I do intend to do a, a, a complete analysis of each case to see whether or not um, these individuals at that age um, should be in an adult facility. Um, we have signed on to several international conventions uh, which requires us to treat juveniles differently um, from, from adults. Brafwit also disclosed that he is looking to have a dedicated youth court established instead of the current fragmented arrangement. It's going to call for a different a change of mindset. We're going to have to do some training with the police. We're going to have to do some training with, with, with the lawyers, with, with probation, um, with all of the actors. Um, it's not going to be an, a straightforward journey. It's probably, in my eyes, it's probably going to take us two or three years um, to reach that stage, um, my ultimate vision is that we would have um, a youth court or a, a court uh, specifically to, um, for juveniles um, as a, so that um, you can have a, a sensitive, one sensitive institution, whether it be a new court or within the present um, court framework, um, as opposed to what happens now where you might have a youngster go to District F and, and meet one magistrate and go to all these things and making other magistrate out, etc. Principal of the government's industrial school at Dodds, Erwin Lickock, said the conference gives stakeholders an opportunity to comment and critique any proposals for reform based on the results of a 2014 study commissioned by UNICEF. The specific conference objectives are to, see, to present the participants at the conference the current status of juvenile justice system in Barbados. That will be done in through the situation analysis. To present to participants an overview of the proposals to reform the juvenile justice in, system in Barbados. To sensitize participants through various presentations and discussions to some of the pertinent issues associated with the proposals to reform the juvenile justice system in Barbados. To provide participants with the opportunity to identify and discuss suggestions regarding the issues associated with the proposals to reform the juvenile justice system in Barbados. Finally, to develop a plan of action for the reform of the juvenile justice system in Barbados. Education Minister Ronald Jones is defending Prime Minister Frondel Stewart's announcement for Barbados to become a republic. Speaking at a St. Michael South constituency branch meeting last evening, Jones made it clear that remaining under the monarchy would not solve the country's economic problems. We need $100 million to have the camera. From us, we have to find a way of generating $100 million.
But opposition MP Edmund Hinkson says the announcement is nothing but a diversion on the Prime Minister's part. He told the Barbados Labour Party meeting in Black Bess last night that the Prime Minister made no mention of the plan during the just concluded debate on the 2015-2016 estimates of revenue and expenditure and for that reason the Prime Minister could not be serious. A five-year-old will tell you that 16 six out of 30 is less than two-thirds. So you need the Barbados Labour Party support. So if you're serious, you would write the leader of the opposition and say, I want to hold consultations with your party, you know, because we want um, bipartisan support for this. But we go through a whole week of estimates, a whole 40 hours, and no mention of that, no consultation. So, don't, 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 this is not politics. Common sense will tell you that it's a pure diversionary <coughs> tactic. A found a farewell for veteran folk singer and Calypsonian Michael Director Ford, who was laid to rest today. Family, friends, and the Calypso fraternity turned out at the Church of the Nazarene in St. Michael to remember the life of the entertainer best known for his classic, South Sea. Prime Minister Fondo Stewart was among those paying their last respects as well as Griner, Pompey, Kid Sight, Colin Spencer, Destroyer, and the mighty Gabby, who paid a tribute in song. In sports, a night of upsets in the Barbados Football Association's Premier League at the National Stadium as Direct TV Paradise, Clayton School at Tonic Notre Dame, and the Pride of Gall Hill all scored unlikely victories. First, Paradise came from behind to win a 3-2 against Solaris Pinals in the first game of the triple header, followed by Notre Dame's thrilling 2-1 defeat of reigning champions, Barbados Defense Force Sports Program. The biggest blow of the evening came when Gall Hill thrashed Marcuson Britain's Hill 4-0 to win their first game of the league season. There's regional and international news after this short break. News from the region in Guyana, at least three people lost their lives and several others hospitalized after an overcrowded motor vehicle slammed into a truck this morning. According to police, the vehicle with a seating capacity for five was carrying nine people when the crash occurred in the west coast of Bobis. Investigations are on the way. And finally, on the international scene, one person is dead and two others were hospitalized after an unauthorized vehicle tried to gain access to the National Security Agency campus in Fort Meade, Maryland, just outside Washington today. The NSA is investigating the incident. Such a bizarre story here, Brooke, when you think about this. We're on the west side of the uh, NSA headquarters. It happened on the east side. A place like this, super secret, so they're not going to really let you get a close-up view. But if you take a look at the aerials uh, from earlier today, a bird's-eye view, you, you get a sense mm -hmm. of what happened here. The FBI is taking the lead on the investigation. They put out several statements, but we also had a chance to talk to somebody, an emergency responder on the ground, who described what happened. And he told me this way. He says, essentially, it was after 9 o'clock. There were two men, they were in their Ford Escape, they were in this vehicle and they approached one of the outer perimeter uh, barriers. They went ramming through it. Both of these men uh, had wigs on. And on that note, we come to the end of our Barbados Today evening updates, but we will be back again tomorrow morning. Until then, remember, you can log on to www.barbadostoday.bb 
Subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. We're also on Channel 101 online TV as well as Mix 96.9 FM. There you can get all the latest news and sports. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Enjoy the rest of your evening. This news update is brought to you by... So, I'm meeting Rico later. Gotta check in with the girls, but first... Let me check my usage on the MyLime app. Now, what should I wear? <laughs> Hashtag sexy.